Now we're getting ready to paint the sculpture. I like to use uh, latex gloves or rubber gloves because some of this paint, believe it or not, is toxic. Um, it's not as toxic as it used to be. I do use acrylic because I like it to dry quickly. And also the, the wood absorbs the acrylic paint a lot easier than an oil paint. Um, I'm going to start with a darker color. I start with a darker color on the base. And when I paint, I use many layers of paint. I start with the darker color. And of course, this has to dry. You can paint the whole thing. Because hmm. we're going to go back over it. The last thing we do is put the gold leaf on the hands, the face, and the metal. All right, we're going to talk about gold leaf. And it, you can buy it in a package like this, but actually it's not really gold leaf. It's gold foil, and it looks like gold leaf. Um, and it comes in these little packets. And then when you open it up, you're going to see very, very thin pieces of gold foil. Now, how do we stick this to the sculpture? Good question. We use the gold leaf adhesive. So I, I paint this on the surface of the wood, and I'm going to come along and put the gold leaf on it. I'm going to take the gold leaf adhesive and I'm going to start painting it on to the palms of the hand and then when this dries you have to wait for it to dry then we apply the gold leaf and then after we apply the gold leaf I'm going to take a brush and brush it off all right I'm, I've just pulled the sheet out and I take the sheet and I very carefully pat it down like that. And because I've added the gold leaf to this sculpture, this is now a mixed medium sculpture because I'm now using two different mediums. I have the wood and I have the gold foil. We take a little brush because we want to brush away the part where that, that does not have the uh, glue on it and you just want to have the part that you did put the glue on it and that's what happens get rid of all of this the last thing I do is I spray it with a clear acrylic spray or fix and I had a plaque made eternal hero and there is I know this is a little sawdusty but there is a swivel on the bottom and some people prefer not to have a base but on this particular one I wanted a base because I wanted people to be able to turn the piece <laughs>